Okay, so um, there's a set screw in here. Um, I can only imagine that if you over tighten this, that that, that your uh, your taper hole gets deformed, which probably doesn't do you a whole lot of good for straightness. Um, but you got to take this ring off. And then, um, you know, I thought I'd be able to pop this out of here, um, but the first thing that I actually did was to pop this out, and so I, uh, I cut this here and clamped it in the vise, and I took a punch and gently tap a tap a tap of that out, clock the normal way, counterclockwise. And uh, this is this is where the ball bearings live. They're in there quite loose. Um, and uh, you can hear that moving around quite a lot. Now I don't know how that how important holding this this dimensionality here is. Uh, and I have to re-lubricate this. But right now it spins pretty darn freely. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Um, it spins pretty freely uh, to screw that in and out. So anyway, the first thing that I did uh, was uh, was to take this off. And uh, I honestly don't know if it's possible see, for these things to stack. Um, <clears throat> as, as you as you uh, tighten the chuck, this whole level drops down. So um, I suppose they just reorganize. They're not in there tight, so there's nothing to hold them flat against that plane. But uh, I'm just rambling. Um, then the next thing I did is I went ahead and uh, I actually took this old spindle mount here for a, for a CNC spindle and put it on the knurled side here and then I drove a punch in this way to break this loose. Um, I tried to do it the other way around. I tried to put this on and uh, put this on top of here and but uh, it was on there too tight so I had to I had to knock it with a hammer and a punch uh, to break this loose and uh, once you have that loose The whole thing just pops out, and then to get the uh, the jaws a little bit more whatever since uh, centered, for lack of a better word, um, I actually uh, I put some marks on here one two three, and I put some marks on on this part of the shaft, and uh, I actually moved them around to see if I could reorder. Um, the uh, the jaws and, and get a better result. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of improvement there and then because I was desperate um, what I ended up doing is uh, once you lower this down to about this point these actually slide right out and there's a there's a, a, a essentially a key in here that registers here and so for two of these what I actually did is I took them over to my surface plate with some that had some sandpaper on there, and I just ran them and took just a very little bit of off of the surface here, uh, rotating it, trying to get it as evenly, um, as much material removed as evenly as I possibly could. And after I did that, and I was able to rotate it, I, I did actually did rotate the jaws a few times. Um, I got the best result that I got, which is about six hundredths of a millimeter. Um, you can see here I've got it down to probably about five, maybe five and a half. Um, but then I went ahead and put another piece of stock in. This is a half inch, uh, this is a half inch, uh, oh interesting. Now I'm back to about fifteen. It's a half inch uh, shank. So, um, I don't know.
that's not good. I think I'm not on my uh, shank arena there. Hmm. I suppose the best way to do this is is to somehow stabilize the jaws in here and to and to regrind the uh, from the inside with a with a tool post grinder and a lathe. But uh, anyway, if you were wondering how to get this thing apart, um, this has got to turn off, and then uh, and then this piece here turns off as well. So I'm going to re-lubricate it uh, and uh, put it back together. All right. So uh, let's see. So I got a, a six millimeter pin in here, and uh, we'll get somewhere in the neighborhood of zero. So I, uh, I fully seated the, uh, the JT3 taper. So right now I'm back, I'm back on the order of six or seven hundredths of a millimeter. Um, this thing was wobbling around. It's still wobbling around. That's no good. So anyway, um, so here's my dowel pin. I'm going to go, uh, Put one of this, some of this half inch sized. You know, it's a little inconsistent, but that is so much better. I mean, I'm telling you, I couldn't get better than 16 uh, hundredths. Um, so I'm real happy with that there. Well, now, we're, now we're back to four, but whatever. <clears throat> All right, so then uh, I'll try something kind of in between those, which is this uh, 3 8 inch center finder which I imagine I can use quite a lot in this chuck. Let's see what this, what this story is here. That's like three. So 16 to three. You know, I deburred this um, I, I stoned the surfaces, I cleaned all the, it was, you know, the normal, uh, grime and grit. There was, I mean, there was, there was hunks of chip in here that were like, you know, a quarter inch by, uh, by an eighth of an inch by, you know, let's say half a millimeter. I mean, big chunks of stuff were inside of here. Now the box said 20.2 uh, millimeters, 20, hundred, 20 hundredths of a millimeter, um, and I'm sure that's what you could expect. I checked the uh, the uh, R8 to JT3 taper adapter. There was like maybe five thousandths of a millimeter run out. Very very good on that. Um, so you know, again. I decided to take it apart because wh what do I have to lose? I, I, I really, you know, I, I'm not I'm not going to make any precision holes with 16 hundredths uh, run out. Um, so I mean, you can see, you know, this machine has got has got some wobble we wobble in it anyway. So that's a huge improvement. I'm very very uh, very pleased with that. Um, I also uh, I also got a, a Jacob Super Chuck. And I chucked that up, and I had to buy I had to buy another one of these adapters for it, uh, these uh, 3JT adapters. And without doing anything, that thing was six hundredths of a millimeter. So between those two chucks, I'm pretty happy. And uh, the 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 original chuck that came with this Grizzly G0836, uh, that's going uh, that's going to probably be parked in the drawer for the rest of its life. So anyway. If you were wondering, uh, I think you can improve these chucks. Uh, I might have just got lucky. 
uh, just by reordering the jaws that might have been most of the battle there. Um, I did do a little bit of resurfacing of the jaw, um, a lot of deburring and, and generally clean up on the inside and then I re-lubricated everything with some white lithium grease so I hope, I hope this will last. Anyway, thanks for watching.